Hi, this is Joshua Adigun. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Welcome to my YouTube channel again, AG Tech, AG Tech House. Yeah, and um, on today's agenda, I will um, show you how to enable or disable hyperlink warning messages in Office programs. How to enable, how to globally enable or disable hyperlink warning messages in office um programs so without um dwelling much on this right um i would um show you uh, the steps on how to do that right but um i would like to say um, one or two things um that um you, you know when you're looking at um or when you're trying to click on hyperlinks in office applications yeah you get and you're trying to open a hyperlink in office application you get um the, the this message hyperlinks can be hype to be can be harmful to your computers right or to your computer and then to your data then you can it also say to protect your computer click only on those links from trusted sources do you want to continue it's asking you it's just giving you a warning so i would like to say this that even after we have carried out the the, um, the steps in enabling and disabling the hyperlink warning right irrespective you would still um receive the warning message right even after we have implemented um the the steps we want to carry out at the moment and the steps we'll be doing um carrying out um is would be done in the registry editor so i would like to say this it's a disclaimer please if you are not very confident or you're not conversant with the you're not conversant with the the um you're not conversant with um the registry editor always ensure always ensure you back up the registry editor the, the the registry keys or yeah or sub keys you're trying to um work on before you proceed please and please do not edit or delete any registry key without you backing them up because it can affect the office applications and depending on what you delete it can even affect your system so um i'll share my screen now and then quickly show you how to globally enable and disable um hyperlink warning so the first thing is to click on start and then type registry editor and you see it um here you click on it click on yes and then um what you need to do next is to locate the the h key current user so let me scroll to the top here. So you see we have HK classes roots. Please do not work on this. <laughs> and then you have even this local machine, you need to be very careful. And you have um, other ones, but the one the one we'll be working on is the HK current user. So you click on the drop down here. And before I continue, let me show you how to back up this registry. So you, you can decide to back up the entire thing here. You right click on it and export. Right. or you can decide to say you want to back up only that for, of microsoft since that's what we'll be working on right so please right click export and export it to a place on your desktop right so the next thing is i come here i select software i scroll down to microsoft um yes i scroll down to microsoft Netscape, yeah, Microsoft, and then I come down to Office, Office here, and then because I'm using Office 16, depending on the Office you're using. So if you're using um, Office 2007, you'll see 12.0. If you're using um, 2010, you'll see 14.0. If you are using um, 2013 you see 15.0 and then office 2016 and above you see 16.0 so i'll click on this office here and then <clears throat> um i um yeah in the office 16 i also go to common yeah this is common 
and then in common while in common right i select common so since this is what I'm, I will be working on, I can right click on this and then export, right? So that I can back this up. So assuming I've done that, I'll come here to this page here, open on the, on the, on the, um, on the, this wide area here where you see name, type and data, right? So the next step is to right click on this page, select new, go to D word 32. Right, and in DWOT 32, as you can see, it has created a value here. So I type in disable hyperlink warning. This the way it is written, that's how you write it. Right? I click this and then I I to to impute the value here, I right click on this and I click on modify. So I'll change the value right i'll change the value so it has zero here now i'll change it to one and I click on ok as you can see it has changed to one and then the hexadecimal representation is also here and then i click on ok right so this is how to disable um to globally disable the hyperlink warning so if i'm to enable i will do the same thing right however um, let me delete this yeah however i would go to um i'll go to user uh, hk current user i would go to microsoft software i'll go to microsoft i'll go to office yeah i'll go to office i would go to 16.0 i'll go to common and then i'll go to security at the bottom here i go to security here in security i go to do i have trust i don't have trust so i don't have trusted protocol here so um let me check for for 15.0 okay 15.0 is outlook so let me quickly office Let me quickly come to my VM here and do the same here. Let me go to reg edit on Windows 10. But please just just follow just follow through the steps. Reg history editor. Yeah, go through the steps. <coughs> so now we're trying to enable this. Um, okay, so I go to current user quickly i go to software i go to okay so i don't have what installed here so office installed rather so i i can't see that so all you need to do is to go to software microsoft office depending on the office version you have you select it you select common when you go to common here uh, let me go back here you go to common here and then you go to security and when you get to security you should see um trusted protocols you select it and then you go to all applications right so um and then when you get to all applications you follow through the same steps we did right click new d 32 and then you type in um you you, you type in um the name of the protocol basically you want to exclude right and then um you click on save change the value from zero to one you click on enter and then restart your pc however if you still get this warning right you can um even after disabling the warning you may still receive the warnings the the, the, the hyperlink warning right so you can do other things like you can turn off the the confirm open after download option for the file type that you are trying to open so all you need to do is to um, go to um, your computer so windows e um, come here my computer here and then um, click on folder options so i have tools here options and then i 
I go to any file type, in the file type, in the file type of advanced confirm open it. Um, okay, so that will be all for now. Thank you very much for your time. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, turn on your your notification so you can be notified um, on every new video that is dropping on my channel. Also like this video and then share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Have a good day. Bye-bye.